Hello, welcome to my kitchen. You know what I found in my refrigerator that I know it's been there since last fall. I'm making this video in, in Mar the first part of March and I know this cabbage has been in there a long time because I actually hadn't been to the regular grocery store since Thanksgiving I think. But I found this cabbage so I really think I need to make something with it. I think when I bu first bought it I was going to do just some red slaw or something. But today I'm going to make a low carb sweet and sour cabbage with it. Won't that be pretty? Alright, I've got, I've got an electric skillet here this morning. We're going to start with that electric skillet. And this is some butter and I'm going to put about a couple of tablespoons of butter in that. To kind of, it's already on so we're just going to put that in there. This will be good and, and my husband can eat it and I can eat it. He's not low carb, but sometimes I make things that he'll, he eats and enjoys with me. He doesn't know they're low carb sometimes. Let's see how I want to do this. You can kind of tell this cabbage has been in there for a little while. We want about a, about a pound cabbage, and I'm going to... In smaller pieces get about about like that I'm going to put that into that and get something else this won't take long to fix but I'm just going to cut it in little slivers there I'm making a lot of noise over here a professional chopper. <laughs> I'm going to turn that up a little bit. I'm going to chop this up and I'll put it in there and I'll add some vinegar and some allulose to it. Then I'll put the lid on it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. I've made sweet and sour cabbage before and put the put you know, real sugar, but since this is low carb, we're going to put some allulose. And that cabbage will be, will be used up. Do you, do you ever buy, for some kind, sometimes buy vegetables and then you don't use them? I've done that before. I try to be frugal, but sometimes I just miss my mark. I'm sure if I had that microphone turned on, but I did. Sometimes I've got a microphone that I clip onto this little thing, and when it's on, the little blue light's on. Then I couldn't remember if I turned it on or not. And I have. I'm not real good at making videos, but I can cook. Take that piece off. Now let's get this, get this all in this electric skillet. Oh, I can smell that butter already. Let's see. What? Are, we'll just use this to kind of stir that around. apron on the can you, you probably can't see it. It's pretty in the skillet. Now we're going to add about three tablespoons of vinegar. One, two, three. I just guessed at it. You can measure. And we're going to add three tablespoons of allulose is what I'm adding today. I'll measure the sugar. Sprinkling it all over it. And I've got some, some pink salt here. I'll just put a 
Just that. It's already simmering down. It's beautiful. It really is. I'm going to move it over here. You see that? It's so pretty. But it's going to take about 30 minutes for it to cook down. Oh, got a whip of vinegar. Turn it down. It's going to really quick fast. Just Turn the right way. Okay, I've turned it down now. I'm going to put a lid on it and, and cook it for about, about 30 minutes. I'm going to come along and start every once in a while because I'm going to be here in the kitchen. I might. You know what? I've got this, I've got this crumbled up bacon here. I'm going to put a little bit of that bacon. Wouldn't have to, but I'm going to put some on this low carb diet. I've cooked some and just kind of keep it here to, sometimes it's a snack to keep me from wanting something I shouldn't have. I wish you could see how pretty that is. When I've made sweet and sour cabbage with the before, not this is the first time I've made it this way. When I make it before, I would make a, I would make some mashed potatoes, and I'd put a little pile of mashed potatoes, and then I'd put a spoonful of this sweet and sour, sour cabbage on those mashed potatoes. That was good. And then have your other meat, maybe another side dish of some kind, side vegetable. I kind of. I want to take a bite right now. I am going to put a lid on it, but I'm going to get me just a little bite. That's just the way I cook. When things look good, I have to try it. And it's not even done yet. My glass is fogged up. I'm going to take this bite right here. Not sure what. Reckon I could serve it over some rice cauliflower. Reckon that would be good. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Alright. It's still crunchy, and I want it just a little bit more softer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find my lid. I'm gonna put it right there for just a few minutes, and I'll be back in about 30 minutes, and we'll try it again. Well, I've come back again, and this stuff, oh, it's it's pretty. Now I'm going to show you my plate. I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for lunch today. Let me put some of this on here. This is what I'm going to eat today that's low carb. The ham's probably not exactly what, it, what you need on the low carb because it's probably been cured with sugar. But I've got my sweet and sour cabbage. I've got some green beans that I that I canned here on the farm, raised and canned them. But this stuff, this is almost like eating dessert because it's sweet. That's good. I'll tell you what, I won't eat it all today. So what I'm going to do, when it cools off a little bit, I'm going to bag it up and, and freeze part of it. And I'll have it again another day out of the freezer. That's good. I, I will make that again. But I'm going to put some in my freezer for later. I'm going to show you what I'm going to feed my husband today. <laughs> he's going to get the same ham. But he's going to get the corn that I can. He's going to get uh, pinto beans. 
There's a piece of cornbread, and there's some scalloped potatoes. This is what he's going to get. And this is what I'm going to get. Who you want to come and eat with? They both look good to me. But of course, if you're country fied like us, it all, it's all good. All right, I've got to get off here. I've got, I've got some food. I cooked part of that yesterday of Terry, so we're eat, he's eating leftovers. And I'm eating, let me turn that off, that's making noise, making the sizzling noise. Anyway, we're country fried out here, but I can eat country fried low carb. And, t and t my husband can eat that, and everybody's happy. Alright, hope you try it. Bye, I love y'all.